As with any AAA game, Fallout 4 has a ton of cut content, things that basically didn't make it into the final game. Whether this be that they just weren't all that cool or didn't fit to the overarching themes, or maybe they just simply ran out of time and or money. A lot of this stuff is documented as it did ship with the game file, so with Creation Kit or some of the other community made tools, you actually can get access to it and see what Bethesda originally had planned for the game. Now a lot of this stuff has been made into mods, a lot of it is very small things like perks that weren't included or maybe a weapon or two. So in today's video, what I want to show you is what in my eyes is the single coolest piece of cut content from Fallout 4. This is something that despite the idea being in there in the game's files, nobody's really taken it on as a mod, nor has Bethesda really addressed recreating this or bringing it back into the game. So starting things off, we have an underwater vault and really just a ton of things that would have expanded Fallout 4's underwater or really just water aqua aspect. If you look at the map of the Commonwealth, you'll realize a ton of it is water. A Can't lot of this, this is pretty much just dead zones. Yes, there's a few things to do here and there. There's maybe a few quests, a few docks, but for the most part, you don't really do anything in this water, and it's really just there for looking at as you're standing at Castle looking outward. So one of the cut quests, 20 Leagues Under the Sea, would have expanded this area. Not too much is known about the quest, but we actually do have the kind of quest icon for it, and from that we can infer a few things. First and foremost, it seems like there would have been some kind of sea monster, but we'll actually get back to that in a second. And even further, it almost looks like you're kind of in a capsule or underwater item. The quest marker is also included in the game. It's basically a little submarine so maybe that would have been a teleportation device to wherever this quest takes place or maybe it would have actually been a submarine. Even further that's pretty interesting is there's some textured items for a vault door as well as a vault window. The main difference here is they're not your typical vault door or vault window because they are meant to be underwater. The names are actually vault squid window as well as vault door marine. So this is really interesting it seems like Bethesda at some point had a plan to include this quest that would have taken you to this underwater vault to do something. And even beyond that again there is a creature in in that kind of animation for the quest. It looks like a larger creature, maybe a dolphin or a whale. Well, there's actually two creatures in Fallout 4, or at least mentioned in Fallout 4, or found within its files that would have fit this description. One of them is in fact a giant ghoul whale. You can find out about this if you actually listen to one of the conversations going on by one of the caverners at Bunker Hill. Old Peg, is that supposed to mean something? You don't know of Old Peg? You've covered enough miles to know firsthand that radiation ravages all living things in its own way. But no one wonders about the deep blue sea. So one day, my grandpappy was egging. It was a foul day, fog so thick you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. He was stumbling along and then he heard a tremendous clamoring from the ocean, like nothing he'd ever heard before or since. He stood still for a long time. The fog cleared for a brief moment and that's when he saw the outline of the great behemoth. Massive. Bigger than anything you or I will ever see. Old Peg. A giant blue ghoul whale. <laughs> a ghoul whale? Yeah. As the fog gathered, he saw that great beast emerge back into the deep. And my grandpappy fled for the first and last time in his life. Ask any of the old timers and they'll all agree. Something ancient and terrifying haunts the sea. <clears throat> the ghoul whale is real. Old Peg, right outside the harbor. Dark and ominous things swim the deep. So that's definitely plausible. You could actually find a massive whale skeleton that this could be referencing in Far Harbor on one of the coasts. Now to be clear, this dialogue was in the base game. So that was before Far Harbor was even necessarily being developed that it could have been put in, but I imagine they knew somewhat where they were going with some of the DLC. But there's another candidate and I think this one might even be a bit more likely and that is what we have the textures for a giant squid. So this one's pretty interesting because first you could see this giant squid, but there's actually even a bit more here. There's actually the potential that this could have been an armored squid or converted into an armor squid because we actually have the textures for that also. So now who on earth would possibly do something like this? Well, actually the Institute. It's mentioned earlier in the game at a terminal that the Institute have covered the air and the ground and now they're looking to expand to the sea. This could have been an interesting quest either taking on a squid of theirs that went loose, maybe it's just a normal squid and the quest is the process of you adding armor to it. That would also be pretty interesting. To even further this point, it's actually mentioned by Deacon as you're talking to him. Sounds like I have a stalker. It's not like that. A lot of people know about you. A Chinese nuclear sub, an undersea vault, and a daring rescue. That ring any bells? 
the way he does say it there kind of seems like it's a big experience like something you would remember from doing throughout the game it doesn't really seem like something that's potential and hidden out there and then finally not really evidence for a vault but there's actually some miscellaneous water based weapons like a harpoon gun and a bunch of different things like that that didn't make it into the final game but actually have been re-edited in by different modders so yeah it looks like fallout 4 had the potential of getting a massive God. underwater vault that had a big sea creature around it that seems pretty freaking awesome to me and now that bethesda has kind of mentioned that they may add in some larger projects through croatian club oh, i think oh. this could be a great candidate so bethesda if you're watching add in this underwater vault and giant whale make it a quest maybe add in one or two weapons and i will be more than happy to pay for it so yeah that's in my eyes the single coolest part of fallout 4's cut content let me know in the comments down below do you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff in the future there's a lot more to fallout 4's cut content a lot of other cool things that probably aren't on the caliber or level of this one but still are pretty interesting that may be warranting a kind of video is that something you'd want to see is it something you wouldn't want to see as always again thank you for watching i do hope you guys enjoyed and i hope to see you all next time later